नाउ आफ्टर सम स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम वो थोड़ा सा नीचे आ गया सो दिस डिस्टेंस इज एक्स सो इतना जो डिस्टेंस है ये उसने कवर किया है ऑन द प्लेन दिस इज द अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस दैट इज बीन कवर्ड और ये है x नॉट x एंड आई एम सेइंग दिस इज एग्जैक्टली इक्वल टू दिस r क्योंकि प्लेन रोलिंग है ना जितना वो मूव करेगा उतने ही उसमें स्क्वायर में कवर करेगा So hello everyone I am Rakesh Nath and I am a faculty of mathematics optional in Tutor Science Academy So today we going to discuss a very important topic of mathematics optional Today we going to discuss Lagrangian equation Yeah today we going to discuss Lagrangian equation So let us first see in what part of the syllabus do Lagrangian equation falls So if we go through the syllabus of mathematics optional in UPSC civil services so Lagrangian equation comes in paper 2 paper 2 under the topic name mechanics and fluid dynamics and very explicitly in the syllabus it is written lagrangian equation and generalized coordinates right generalized coordinates lagrangian equation both are explicitly mentioned in the uh, upsc civil services mathematics optional paper 2 syllabus so today we going to discuss what is lagrangian equation what are the specific equation and formula that we need to know and what are the different kinds of questions that have been asked in upsc civil services and previous year questions right so let's start So first of all, what are some basic concepts of Lagrangian equation? It's a very basic, a very simple thing. But the thing is, that uh, if we go through the de uh, derivation and how to exactly we form this uh, equations of the Lagrangian equation, the derivation part is very difficult. But uh, luckily for us, in UPSC Civil Services, in last twenty years, no derivation based on Lagrangian equation have been asked so far. So I'll suggest everyone that no one should, at least if you want to go, if you uh, you can follow some uh, basic definition, basic derivation from some standard books of Uh, this mathematics but i will recommend very strongly ki no one should remember and no one should grow very seriously through this uh, derivation part because in the last 20 years no single question of derivation have been asked in this lagrangian equation so in our this small talk a small video that we are constructing today our main focus will be what are the basic uh, definition that we need to know what are the formula that been applicable in solution of this lagrangian equation and how to go through the problems so we will uh, uh, go through a very important two or three questions that have been asked in the previous year question based on this lagrangian equation and believe me this is uh, this is more than enough to solve any question that have been asked in upsc civil services based on this lagrangian equation right so basic concepts of lagrangian equation the first thing uh, this is also mentioned in the syllabus generalized coordinates so generalized coordinates mean any sets of coordinate any sets of coordinate which are mutually independent from each other right coordinates whose changes coordinates whose variation coordinates whose parametric change is mutually independent completely independent from one another that are generalized coordinates so if we take an example generalized coordinates is just imagine we have a wheel right and is wheel is rotating on a plane surface so it will rotate like this thing it will has an omega a motion in this uh, circular motion and the center of mass of the wheel will rotate in this horizontal direction in a uniform way right the center of mass will move in this horizontal direction and the complete wheel will rotate in this rotational form so here we can say if we have to have this generalized coordinate very easily we can say the x coordinate of the center of mass is one generalized coordinate and if we take any reference line so over a period of time this angular shift or this angular uh, projection that this angle uh, our reference line is making with the center that is our again another generalized coordinate so if we in general have to generalize the motion of the wheel in this direction ki it is moving in a forward direction with angular velocity like this so very clearly very explicitly very simply we can say it has two generalized coordinates one is x where x is the horizontal motion of center of mass and the second one is omega or theta second generalized coordinate is omega or theta the motion of the wheel in the circular part right then degree of freedom अरे मतलब सिंपली अगर बोलना हो तो जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट्स मीन जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट्स अगर सिंपली बोलना हो कि इट्स एनी नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर द मिनिमम नंबर ऑफ पैरामीटर्स रिक्वायर्ड व्हिच आर म्यूचुअली इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ ईच अदर द वेरिएशन ऑफ ईच दिस इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल इज कंप्लीट इंडिपेंडेंट एंड द सेकंड थिंग इज कि दीस आर सफिशिएंट टू डिस्क्राइब द कंप्लीट मोशन ऑफ द बॉडी जो म्यूचुअली इंडिपेंडेंट हो और दैट विल दैट आर सफिशिएंट टू डिस्क्राइब द कंप्लीट मोशन ऑफ बॉडी दीस आर जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट्स जैसे हियर इन दिस एग्जांपल वी कैन से this theta and x are the generalized coordinates then degree of freedom degree of freedom means very simply we can say 
different kind of motions a body is performing which are mutually independent from each other i'll repeat this thing again kitni tarikon se a body is moving different motions that a body is undergoing which are mutually independent from each other just say here we can say the first motion will be taking the same example as we taken in the last problem here a wheel is moving in positive x direction in this horizontal direction and along with this this complete wheel is rotating in this direction right this is the direction of omega so here the uh, degree of freedom will be two one is the horizontal motion of the wheel horizontal direction motion of the wheel or horizontal motion of the center of mass of the wheel and the second one is complete rotational motion of this wheel if if we have to bifurcate this motion into two this is the center of mass of the wheel this is the horizontal motion of the wheel and the second is is tarike se the rotational motion of the wheel so these are the two different independent mutually independent uh, motion that combines uh, if we combine these two motion that will result in the final motion that our body is undergoing so we can say this degree of freedom of this wheel the wheel that is also rotating and moving in the positive x direction the degree of freedom of this kind of motion of a body will be 2 one this horizontal x motion of the center of mass and the other is the complete rotational motion and if someone is from physics background so this kind of motion is called pure rolling where this lower most point is not slipping over the surface so degree of freedom here are 2 right then we are discussing basic concepts of this lagrangian equation the third basic concept that we have is kinetic energy and potential energy kinetic energy and potential energy so it is a very basic thing we are we have we have all studied this in school level mathematics and school level physics so kinetic energy is total energy of any particle any body that is acquired due to its uh, tendency of motion the part the energy that a body has because of its motion that is kinetic energy just imagine this is a ball of mass m and the center of mass of this ball has a horizontal velocity of v so if we have to write this kinetic energy of the body we will write it is half m v square right we all have studied in this physics of 10th class 10th class 11th class 12th so kinetic energy of this body will be half m v square similarly if this is ground and any particle of mass m is at a height h above the ground the vertical height of this particle of mass m above the ground is h so potential energy of this particle will be mgh potential energy of this particle will be mgh so this is potential energy and this is kinetic energy specifically for lagrangian it is exactly the same aisa nahi hoga ki lagrangian mein potential energy ka matlab kuch aur ho gaya we just we represent the kinetic energy by symbol t and potential energy by symbol v other than this it is exactly the same that we have studied it from class 10 sab kuch ekdam waisa hi hai and the fourth is fine lagrangian function it is nothing isme bahut zyada confusion hoti hai ki what is a lagrangian function what is not what is this thing very simply in one line up we have to write is it is t minus v bas i'll suggest more than this is pe bahut sari alag alag cheeze hoti you should not have to worry about this thing so lagrangian function is kinetic energy of the body at the at the moment of time minus potential energy of the body at that time kinetic energy minus potential energy t minus v bas that is the lagrangian function and it is represented by l so here in symbolically i have written this thing as l is equal to t minus v bas this is what you have to focus on right then x very intentionally i have not gone through ki what is the complete derivation isme hum pura derivation likh ke hum usko explain kare then we uh, go through different formulas different ye then we came to the final conclusion it is not required in the last 20 years no single question of derivation have been asked so i'll suggest you directly directly you should remember what is the final lagrangian equation if we have given a body first of all what we have to do is for the complete body we need to find what is the kinetic energy then second we need to find what is the potential energy of the complete body then we have to write l lagrangian function as t minus v directly subtracting kinetic energy from the potential energy we will get lagrangian function l is equal to t minus v then we can write where 
where theta is generalized coordinate this is the final lagrangian equation d by dt this is complete differential del t by del theta dot partial differential of kinetic energy with respect to theta dot minus del theta by del t this part this is also partial derivative plus d v by del v by del theta this is also partial derivative so this is the final lagrangian equation where theta is a some generalized coordinate and this will hold true for all the generalized coordinates as the particle that's the complete body is having jisne generalized coordinate honge for all the generalized coordinate this equation will, will be holding true right and if we use this thing instead of using t and this was complete lagrangian equation when we use t and v as parameters rather than using t and v if we use l lagrangian function as the only parameter our complete lagrangian equation become even more simpler ye thoda sa complicated lag sakta hai to isse bhi ek simple si equation ban jayegi right this is the equation and this is even more simpler if we take l as a parameter so this is the equation d by dt where t is time obviously where t is time d by dt of del l by del theta dot minus del l by d theta so this is the final lagrangian equation if we take l as a parameter so i'll suggest you bas aapko ye karna hai if any body any situation any specific condition is given to you first of all just find the kinetic energy and potential energy of the body seedha aapko nikal dijiye what is the kinetic energy and potential energy of the complete body then uske baad find out this thing the lagrangian function as t minus v uske baad just apply either this wala equation or use this equation you can use either of the two equations if if you want to use the parameters as t and v itself without computing the final lagrangian function we can use the first equation where it is explicitly uh, mentioned in the form of t and v if we you if we have to use in terms of this uh, lagrangian function then we then we can use the second equation this is purely on the basis of lagrangian function and you can give answer from any of the two equation answers can be derived from using any of the two equation so this is very very simple kuch nahi karna but we have to do is just we have to find this potential energy and kinetic energy of the body then we have to find this lagrangian function then we have to use either of the two variable either of the two equation to get to the final answer so let us see isko karte kaise hain so this is some previous year question we will solve these previous year questions to have a knack ki how do we apply, apply this equation how do we find the final answers using this lagrangian equation so the first question is a sphere of radii i and mass m rolls down an inclined plane of slope theta at a distance x from the lowest most point find the acceleration of the sphere right so the first thing is here we need to find uh, we need to consider here is ki we can use we can find the solution of this equation from the basic mathematics also isme de to bada simple si cheez rakhi hai we have an inclined plane inclination of the plane from the horizontal is theta and any random sphere of mass m and radii i this is slipping uh, down this slope in a pure pure rolling fashion there is friction over there right now we have to find the acceleration of the sphere so very simply we can use the basic statistics uh, mechanics also if this will be mg this will be mg sin theta then there will be an application of friction because of friction we have angular velocity and this angular velocity will be uh, balancing the complete linear velocity and since this angular velocity and linear velocity will be stabilized this point will be at rest and this is the condition for pure rolling so we will have 3 4 5 number of equations then we have to solve the equation but we will find we will definitely get to the answer that is uh, as over here and the question that is asking what is the acceleration of the sphere hum isko pura solve karenge to we will definitely get to the answer but the thing is it is very lengthy isko karne mein 5 minute 10 minute lag jayega because here number of parameters are there now there will be introduction of other parameters like acceleration in this uh, vertical slope then friction then angular velocity then the linear velocity so there will be around 3 to 4 variables over here so what is the benefit of using this lagrangian equation sabse first slide mein in the first slide we have discussed the lagrangian equation use minimum number of degree of freedom here we exploit the very 
significant uh, 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 what we can see a very significant quality of our system a very significant quality of our moving body is ki how many degree of freedom is the body is having ab isme the number of degree of freedom is 1 ek hi degree of freedom hai isme since there is one degree of freedom so in generalized coordinate we will write only one variable ek degree of freedom hai and generalized coordinate ka matlab tha how many different coordinates which are mutually independent of each other how many such mutually independent coordinates are required to have a sufficient a very complete definition of a description of a moving part uh, of a moving body since here the degree of freedom is one so only generalized coordinate that we are needing over here will be one ek hi generalized coordinate ek hi variable se very easily we can solve this complete equation and we can come to this acceleration of the sphere so isme hoga kya ki our introduction of number of variables will decrease our efficiency will increase our time taken energy everything will decrease so it is a faster method to solve to any question because here directly we are abusing the fact ki how many degree of freedoms are there jitne degree of freedoms aayenge us hisab se we can uh, we can have our this thing generalized coordinates and the number of generalized coordinates will be the number of equations we are requiring so clearly here the degree of freedom is one so one generalized coordinate is required one unknown variable is required and the unknown variable is acceleration itself bas ek hi ko solve karke aa jayega so let's see ab isko karna kaise hai bahut simple sa question hai this is theta i'm sorry this is theta ye hamara sphere hai and this sphere is rolling down the slope so generalized coordinate mein hum dekhenge ki the the sphere is moving down in this direction and by virtue of friction the motion of this uh, the circular motion of the sphere will be in this direction ha na the motion of the sphere in the linear uh, the linear uh, dimensions will be in this direction along the slope and in the circular direction it is this anti clockwise direction so the motion of sphere is combination of this linear velocity and this angular velocity in dono se hi bana hua hai then we have to find ki imagine kar lete hain this is a reference frame and after a specific moment of time the reference line will is is at this uh, position so in specific amount of time let us imagine isko hum alpha le lete hain let us imagine this is the angular displacement of a reference line in specific amount of time and after specific amount of time let us say from a reference point and given the reference point is the lowest most point of the slope so the lowest most point of the slope or the lowest most point of a plane the distance of the center of mass and the lowest most point will at x at a specific time there is a angular displacement alpha and let's imagine at initial moment of time at t is equal to 0 when the sphere just starts to roll down the slope the display the distance between the center of mass and the lowest most point be x not so if we have to write a relation between x not and x very simply we can write ki since there is pure rolling so amount of the surface of the plane that the sphere is covering it exactly equal to the amount of this circular arc the the circular arc that is subtended from our this reference line i'll repeat this thing again i am saying in specific amount of time any specific amount of time the amount of surface of the plane that the sphere is covering jitna wo zameen cover kar raha hai it is exactly equal to the amount of arc the angle the amount of arc that the angle that the reference line is subtending on this exactly same specific amount of time jo ye x not se x ghata hai the difference between x not and x initially the distance between the initially the plane uh, the sphere is at some this position so this distance is x not so thoda sa dobara banata hu right this distance is x not now after some specific amount of time wo thoda sa niche aa gaya so this distance is x So, इतना जो डिस्टेंस है ये उसने कवर किया है ऑन द प्लेन दिस इज अमाउंट ऑफ डिस्टेंस दैट इज बीन कवर्ड और ये है एक्स नॉट माइनस एक्स एंड आई एम सेइंग दिस इज एक्टली इक्वल टू दिस आर क्योंकि प्लेन रोलिंग है ना जितना वो मूव करेगा उतने उसमें स्पेयर में कवर करेगा सो वट आई एम सेइंग इज कि एक्स नॉट माइनस एक्स इज इक्वल टू दिस आर्क लेंथ एंड आर्क लेंथ इज इसका रेडियस ए है ए अल्फा वेयर एक्स नॉट इज सम कॉन्स्टेंट ऑब्वियसली एक्स नॉट वॉज इज इनिशियल पोजिशन ऑन दिस प्लेन वो तो कॉन्स्टेंट है and x is a current position at a specific amount of time and a is the radius and alpha is this angular displacement of our reference line at that specific amount of time only so this is our one 
equation and here we can see now there is only and only one generalized coordinate and a one degree of freedom ye x bas ye x hi kam ho raha hai aur jo iska alpha hai jo angular velocity hai that is related to x so our independent general kyunki generalized coordinates are mutually independent here x and alpha is directly related to each other so they are not mutually independent so degree of freedom is also one and this generalized coordinate is also one so just we have to write potential energy kinetic energy then directly we can write this lagrangian equation hardly it will take one second so total kinetic energy will be linear kinetic energy linear kinetic energy plus rotational kinetic energy ek line mein ho jayega linear kinetic energy is half mv square and rotational kinetic energy is half i omega square right and velocity is iski x dot obviously x is the displacement so velocity is x dot एंड इसका सेंटर ऑफ मास आज टू बाई फाइव एम आर स्क्वायर एम ए स्क्वायर एंड ओमेगा इज अल्फा डॉट बिकॉज अल्फा इज द एंगुलर डिस्प्लेसमेंट सो ओमेगा इज अल्फा डॉट एंड यूजिंग आर फर्स्ट इक्वेशन वी कैन राइट कि इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग इक्वेशन वन बाय टाइम एक्स डॉट एक्स एक्स नॉट डॉट इज जीरो x dot is equal to a alpha dot with a minus sign. So putting this thing here, omega uh, alpha is omega dot. So x dot by a is omega, right? If we put this thing in this equation, we will get omega square is equal to x dot by a square. Clear? Here what we have done is. we have write omega square in form of alpha and then we know there is a relation between alpha and x so directly we have write omega in form of x so we have write omega as alpha dot and differentiating this first equation we will get x dot is equal to a alpha dot and then clearly we have written this alpha dot is a omega so omega is equal to x dot by a so solving this thing we can get we will get kinetic energy is half m x dot square plus 1 by 5 m x dot square 7 by 10 m x dot square yes pehli cheez to maine nikal li first thing that we require to find over is what is the total kinetic energy and we get total kinetic energy is 7 by 10 m x dot square right so is samay jab kar leta hu the second thing that we need over here is potential energy bas ye dono nikal denge in kaam khatam पोटेंशियल एनर्जी को हम लिख सकते हैं आफ्टर सम स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज रिड्यूसिंग क्योंकि इनिशियली द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी वाज दिस आफ्टर स्पेसिफिक अमाउंट ऑफ टाइम पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इज दिस सो वी कैन राइट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इनिशियल माइनस फाइनल सॉरी सॉरी फाइनल माइनस इनिशियल फाइनल माइनस फाइनल एंड पोटेंशियल इनिशियल वॉज एम x not sin theta right because in potential energy is, is measured the vertical distance that the vertical height the uh, a body is having from the ground level from the ground level initially this is x not so this is this vertical distance is x not sin theta so initial potential energy is mg x not sin theta minus final potential energy is mg x sin theta mg x sin theta this thing height of After specific amount of time t, after time t, the height of the ball from the ground level is x sine theta. So potential energy is this is constant, theta is constant and x naught is constant. Is some constant p e naught minus m g x sine theta. Clear? Very simple thing. So here we have found this kinetic energy is this thing and potential energy is that thing. so our lagrangian equation in terms of t and v potential energy is v so i'll write here is v it is d by dt d t by d theta dot har acha here the generalized coordinate we have single generalized coordinate 
एंड जनरल कोऑर्डिनेट वी हैव इज एक्स सो इधर एक्स में लिख लेते हैं इसको आर लेग्रेंजियन इक्वेशन एंड एक्स लेग्रेंजियन इक्वेशन इज एक्स इज डी बाय डी टी दिस वाज आर लेग्रेंजियन इक्वेशन बस सर डायरेक्टली पुट कर दीजिए डायरेक्टली वी हैव टू पुट दिस एक्सप्रेशन इन दिस थिंग थोड़ा सा करके दिखा देते हैं इसमें कैसे होता है ये So, इसमें x डॉट है एक x डॉट ये है सो इट विल बी सेवन बाई टेन इंटू टू एम एक्स डॉट डी बाई डी टी देन माइनस ऑफ यहाँ पे x है यहाँ पे x डॉट है इन दिस इंटरनल एक्सप्रेशन देर इज नो सिंगल टर्म दैट इज कंटेनिंग x, सो दिस कंप्लीट इज जीरो राइट बिकॉज वी आर दिस इज पार्शल डिफरेंशियल सो इन पार्शल डिफरेंशियल इफ वी हैव एनी एक्सप्रेशन विच इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ दिस पार्शल डेरिवेटिव तो सीधा x जीरो हो जाएगा Directly we can write is this zero, and this is constant, so this is also zero. Differentiation of any constant where any constant thing is zero, so is me x x x. So we will write this. Minus m g sine theta is equal to zero, right? Now differentiating this thing with respect to time, seven by five m is constant, x dot and differentiating with time we will get x double dot. Minus m g sine theta is equal to zero. Simplifying this thing, we will get x double dot is equal to five by seven g sine theta. X double dot is equal to five by seven g sine theta. And uh, here x double dot is the second rate of change of x or the acceleration of particle. The acceleration of any particle here is sphere, and the acceleration of the sphere. on this uh, inclined plane and that is what we need to find the acceleration of the sphere on this inclined plane so directly ek line mein aa gaya in very simply we can write this acceleration of the sphere on the inclined plane is a x x double dot is this acceleration is 5 by 7 g sin theta where theta is inclination of the plane from the horizontal level and this is constant oh inclination thodi change ho raha hai right so this is how we need to use this lagrangian equation to find solution of a questions so let us move to the second question here this is the answer this is the acceleration humko acceleration nikalna tha this is acceleration of sphere next question this is also very simple question this is also previous question this was asked in upsc 2020 i guess so obtain the lagrangian equation for the motion of a system of two articles of unequal masses two articles of unequal masses connected by an inextensible string passing over a pulley so it is a pulley there is a pulley over here and two masses are connected with a single string and clearly it has been mentioned the mass of the particle oh, sorry to usko alag rule bana lete hain to usse yahan bana lete hain the mass of the two different particles are different so this is a system now we have to find ki ab isme complete kya hoga koi karna hai exactly same isme humko ek agar let us imagine this m2 is greater than m1 but sabko imagine karna tha humne maan liya so let us imagine ki this is x and this length of complete string be l so this wala part the depth of the particle m1 from this pulley is x minus l and the depth 
ऑफ द पार्टिकल एम टू फ्रॉम दिस पुलिस एक्स राइट ये हमने मान लिया और लेट एस इमेजिन दिस एम टू इज ग्रेटर देन एम वन एक दो तो बड़ा हो गई अनिकोल है सो लेट एस इमेजिन वो वाला बड़ा है सो होगा क्या कि दिस एम टू पार्टिकल विल बी मूविंग डाउनवर्ड एंड एक्जैक्टली एट द सेम टाइम दिस एम वन पार्टिकल विल बी मूविंग अपवर्ड एंड देर इज अ पुली ओवर देर सो इन दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन बी वेरी केयरफुल यहाँ पे जस्ट मेंशन है कि इन एक्सटेंसिबल स्टिंग इज देयर सो देर इज नो एक्सटेंशन सो दैट्स वाई वी वेरी इजिली वी कैन राइट की इसको एक्स मान लिया इसको एल माइनस एक्स मान लिया वैसा तो हो नहीं रहा स्टिंग खिंच रही है इसमें क्लियरली इज मैंशन की द स्टिंग इज इन एक्सटेंसिबल बट द थिंग इज क्लियरली ऑन योर सिंगल वर्ड पुली इज मैंशन नो वेर इन द क्वेश्चन इज मैंशन वेदर द पुली इज मासलेस और द पुली इज हैविंग सम मास सो हेयर गिविंग द बेनिफिट ऑफ डाउट शुड बी ऑलवेज बी गिवन टू दिस एग्जामिनर and if nothing is mentioned तो आप मान लीजिए तो आप मान लीजिए कि पुली का मास होगा दोनों करना सो so, इसके पहले हम लिखते हैं काइनेटिक एनर्जी सो काइनेटिक होगी काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एम वन पार्टिकल प्लस काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ एम टू पार्टिकल सो दिस विल बी द टोटल काइनेटिक एनर्जी ऑफ दिस सिस्टम पुली तो स्टेशनरी है दिस पुली इज कम्प्लीटली स्टेशनरी इसमें बट एक रोटेशनल काइनेटिक एनर्जी होगी वो हम बाद में लेंगे इन अ सेकेंड केस वेन विल सॉल्व की दिस पुली इज ऑल्सो हैविंग मास फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो लेटर्स इमेजिन केस वन हम ले लेते हैं pulley is massless pulley is massless dono case solve kar lenge hum this is case 1 when pulley is massless in the case 2 we will take when pulley is also having some mass so kinetic energy of m1 will be half m l minus x dot minus half m1 half m2 x dot square so solving this thing Half m1 l minus x dot if l is constant, so differentiation of any constant term with respect to time is zero, and minus x का differentiation is minus x dot and taking square is when we take square हम वो जगह x dot square and second का तो simply हो गया x dot square. So this is the total kinetic energy, right? So total kinetic energy we are getting is half m1 plus m2 x dot square. This is total kinetic energy. इसको यहां साइड में लिख लेते हैं टोटल काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज हाफ एक्स डॉट स्क्वायर नाउ वी हैव टू राइट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी उसमें भी हम वही करेंगे दोनों की पोटेंशियल एनर्जी लिख देंगे पोटेंशियल एनर्जी लिखेंगे हम फॉर मास एम वन फॉर एम टू एंड क्लियरली इफ दिस इज द रेफरेंस लाइन the particles are at a depth of l minus x and x from the reference line so let us imagine this is the reference line where the potential energy is zero so this uh, the the we can say this potential energy of both the particles at all the moment of time will be negative because dono jo hai reference line se niche rahenge aise to hoga na ki mass m1 will move above this reference line because the reference line is at the pulley so there will be no condition there will be no time when both the particle will be moving above the pulley पुली के ऊपर कोई नहीं जाने वाला है सो फॉर द कंप्लीट मोशन द कंप्लीट मोशन ऑफ द बोथ द पार्टिकल्स द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी ऑफ बोथ द पार्टिकल्स विल रिमेन नेगेटिव सो हमको लिखना होगा तो वही लिखेंगे एम जी और इसकी डेप दैट इज एल माइनस एक्स विद अ नेगेटिव साइन प्लस एम सॉरी सॉरी विदेटिव साइन माइनस एम टू जी एक्स राइट सो सॉल्विंग दिस थिंग वी विल गेट एम वन माइनस ऑफ एम वन जी इसको प्लस कर लेते हैं जी एक्स एम वन माइनस एम टू माइनस एम वन जी एल राइट दिस इज द पोटेंशियल एनर्जी इसको भी यहां लिख लेते हैं माइन जी एक्स एम वन माइनस एम टू माइनस एम वन जी एल बस नाउ वी हैव फाइंड कंप्लीट पोटेंशियल एनर्जी एंड काइनेटिक एनर्जी बोथ टी एन वी फॉर द कंप्लीट कंप्लीट सिस्टम ऑफ द पुली एंड टू बॉडीज 
बस हमको जस्ट वट वी हैव टू डू नाउ इज वी हैव टू राइट दिस लेग्रांजन इक्वेशन पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ टी एंड वी एंड द सॉल्व हेयर ऑल्सो वी कैन ये तो हमने बोला नहीं बट इज वेरी क्लियर हेयर द जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट्स और दिस डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज वन ये नीचे जाएगा ये ऊपर जाएगा एंड बोथ दिस कॉर्डिनेट्स आर रिलेटेड द अमाउंट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग दैट विल बी लूजिंग फ्रॉम हेयर दैट विल दैट इज गेन बाई द सेम टू पार्टिकल द स्ट्रिंग दैट इज गेटिंग लूज बाई हेयर दैट विल गेन बाई दिस थिंग सो इट इज वेरी क्लियर कि द जनरलाइज कॉर्डिनेट और द डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम इज वन हेयर सो इसलिए सिर्फ सिंगल वेरिएबल वी हैव एर एक्स एंड ऑल आर लेग्रेंजन इक्वेशन ऑल आर दिस पोटेंशियल एनर्जी काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज इन टर्म्स ऑफ एक्स ऑनली सो हेयर ऑल्सो वी हैव टू जस्ट सॉल्व आर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑन पैर ऑन बेस्ड ऑन वन सिंगल वेरिएबल पैरामीटर एक ही इसमें भी है सो दिस इज आर लेग्रांजन इक्वेशन बस अब इसमें वैल्यू डाल देंगे That's it. कुछ भी नहीं करना है पोटेंशियल काइनेटिक एनर्जी इज दिस थिंग बस नाउ वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस अगेन द पार्शियल डेरिवेटिव हेयर इज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डॉट एंड इन दिस एक्सप्रेशन वी हैव अ सिंगल एक्स डॉट सो डिफरेंशिएटिंग विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स डॉट वी विल गेट एक्स डॉट राइट एंड हेयर द डिफरेंट पार्शियल डिफरेंशिएशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स एंड इट इन द डेरिवेटिव एक्सप्रेशन देयर इज नो सिंगल टर्म कंटेनिंग एक्स सो दिस कंप्लीट वैल्यू विल बी जीरो Since it is a partial derivative and the the term specific variable with respect to which we are differentiating, there is no term in the expression where this variable is there. So the complete derivative will be zero. And here also this is a constant m g m one g l. So this is also zero. So here we can directly write g x and say x cut gaya m one minus m two. Right? See the solution. So if we solve this further, so Here did the m1 plus m2 is constant. De differentiating x dot with respect to time, we will get m2 x double dot is equal to g. Taking this thing to on the right hand side, m2 minus m1. Or or x double dot is equal to g m2 minus m1 upon m1 plus m2. This is the value of our This is the value of our acceleration, and since the degree of freedom is one, and it is very clear also, the string is having tension and it is inextensible. So amount of string that is getting loose over this m1 uh, length, this the same level of string will be gained in this depth of m2 length. So यहाँ से इतना loose होगा, the same will be gained by this thing, or we can say the amount of height that the m1 particle is gaining, the same amount of height the m2 particle will be losing. So very clearly we can say. कि जितना ऊपर जाएगा ये उतना ही नीचे आएगा द डिस्प्लेसमेंट द वेलोसिटी द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द बोथ द पार्टिकल्स इज एक्जैक्टली द सेम है ना बहुत क्लियर है ये ऑल ऑल ऑफ द पैरामीटर्स द एक्सेलरेशन द वेलोसिटी द डिस्प्लेसमेंट ऑफ बोथ द पार्टिकल्स इज एक्जैक्टली द सेम जस्ट द डायरेक्शन इज अपोजिट इफ इट इज मूविंग इन द अपर डायरेक्शन द सेम टू विल बी मूविंग इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन द मैग्नीट्यूड विल रिमेन एक्जैक्टली द सेम सो द एक्सेलरेशन ऑफ द बोथ द पार्टिकल द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन इज दिस And since we have imagined the m2 is heavier, so ये नीचे जाएगा ये ऊपर आएगा obviously बात है. So the acceleration of this particle will be in the downward direction, and the acceleration of m1 will be in the upward direction. And the value of acceleration is this. Hardly, hardly, we just have to, we just what we have done is we have find this potential energy and kinetic energy, and we have put the value of t and v in this single Lagrangian equation formula. और एक second लगा बस उसमें इसको differentiate करने में. And it is very simple here because this degree of freedom here is one. एक सिंगल वेरिएबल था हमारे पास सिंगल जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट वी हैव एंड वी हैव टू सॉल्व दिस पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ सिंगल वेरिएबल सिंगल दिस जनरलाइज कोऑर्डिनेट तो इट बहुत सिंपल हो गया ये सो इन आवर फर्स्ट केस वी हैव टेकन दिस फर्स्ट केस व्हेन दिस पुली इज मासलेस एंड व्हेन द पुली इज मासलेस दिस इज द वैल्यू ऑफ आवर एक्सेलरेशन m2 m1g m1 m2 ठीक है इसको मैं मिटा देता हूं 
now let us solve it for the second case and the second case is second case that we have is when the pulley is having a mass pulley is having a mass nothing is given to us kuch nahi de rakha ki uska kya radius hai what is the mass so we have to imagine everything let us imagine radius of pulley is r radius of pulley is r and movement of inertia is i so if we have to write this kinetic energy here what we have done is this is the expression including this kinetic energy of the two particles isme humko kya karna hai we just have to add the kinetic energy of the pulley also so if this is the pulley let us imagine this is angular displacement theta and this is exactly equal to amount of amount of this string that is getting loosed by m1 and the amount of string that is gained by this m2 exactly wohi hoga na isse because there is also no friction there is no slipping so amount of string that is moving over the surface of this pulley will exactly be the same that the amount of string that m2 is getting and the amount of string that m1 is losing so all of the three are moving in exactly in the same pattern so very easily we can write the rate of change of this angular displacement of this pulley this theta dot is exactly equal Uh, just hold on a second this is exactly equal to this velocity of m1 and m2 that is x dot divided by its radius since arc length is equal to theta into r using this thing and here this arc length is this complete thing right arc the rate of change of arc length is the velocity जितना ज्यादा आकलन चेंज होगा वही तो स्ट्रिंग है जो एम टू इज गेनिंग एंड स्ट्रिंग दैट इज एम वन इज लूजिंग एंड द अमाउंट ऑफ स्ट्रिंग दैट एम वन इज लूजिंग इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ एम वन जितनी लूज करेगी इट इज एक्जैक्टली द सेम हाइट दैट एम वन इज गेनिंग एंड द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ हाइट इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ दिस एम वन सो इट ऑल ऑफ द थ्री आर मूविंग एक्जैक्टली इन सिंक्रोनाइज मैनर द वेलोसिटी ऑफ एम वन द वेलोसिटी ऑफ एम टू एंड द एंगुलर वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पुली ऑल ऑफ द थ्री पैरामीटर्स आर एक्जैक्टली द सेम सो हेर वी हैव रिटर्न हेर द एंगुलर वेलोसिटी थीटा डॉट इज इक्वल टू x dot upon the radius of the pulley r right so kinetic energy of pulley is half i theta dot square and using this thing here we have imagined the moment of inertia of this pulley is i and theta dot taking from this equation number 2 is x dot by r square x dot by r square so we can write here in this expression we just have to include this kinetic energy of the pulley and this is equal to half i x dot by r square that's it now the isko mita deta hu pehle main now exactly the process will remain the same we have to write this lagrangian equation and we have to put the value of t and v over here aur kuch nahi karna hai isme process is exactly the same here just we have done is we have imagine this pulley is having some mass and by the virtue of the mass that the pulley is having usme kinetic energy bhi hogi and nothing is given to us so we have just imagine let us imagine maan liya bas humne aise ki the moment of inertia of the pulley is i and the radius of this pulley is r then very explicitly very simply we have written is this is the expression for kinetic energy of the pulley so writing this thing over here this is the uh, our final lagrangian equation dt by d and as seedha uh, isko hum apne generalized coordinate mein likh dete hain and in our generalized coordinate this is our variable x seedha likh ke 1 minute mein iska kaam tamam kar denge this thing bas now we have to put the value of t and v wahi same process exactly the same thing plus 
d by dx v this thing right then solving this partial differential equation here we have to partially differentiate it with respect to x dot and both these term is having this x dot but it's differentiate karna hai. a very simple differential exercise m1 plus m2 x dot square will be 2 x dot cutting this two from two and different the differentiate bigger the thing so di now different full differentiation with respect to time will give us x double dot then differentiating this thing i x double dot by r square this is too hot i did the answer then plus g m1 minus m2 is equal to zero and this is constant and differentiation of any constant term is zero so this is what we got left with taking x dot common x double dot common taking x double dot common and then dissolving this thing we will get I have just reshuffled this thing over here. This expression I have taken to the right hand side and taking x double dot common and the bachawa the common expression was we dividing this on the right hand side. So the final expression of acceleration that we have over here is x double dot is equal to g m2 minus m1 upon m1 plus m2 plus i upon r square. So this is the acceleration that both the particle will be experiencing, and obviously, since m2 is greater than m1. M2 will be moving in the downward direction and M1 will be moving in the upward direction. And this is the acceleration and the both the particles will have same amount of acceleration. When this was case 2, when our pulley is having mass, since nothing is given to us, so we have just imagined that I is the moment of inertia and R is the radius of the pulley. And using these two parameters, we have got the uh, this thing acceleration of both the particle m1 and m2 is this expression right and just believe me it is very very simple we have done nothing we have just find out this how many degree of freedom is here and clearly here degree of freedom is one now we have find out the total kinetic energy and potential energy of the system this is our expression for complete differential uh, this thing Lagrangian equation just we have to put the values of t and v in this complete Lagrangian equation t is kinetic energy and v is potential energy when we put the value of this kinetic and potential energy, just solving this thing in a direct one or two line, we will we came to this value, the expression x double dot, the acceleration, the expression of acceleration is this, right? So this is the previous year question and this is how we have to solve, we have to tackle the question that are upon based on this Lagrangian equation. So I found, so I hope this, ex, uh, this small exercise, this small initiative is helpful for you. Thank you.